So whenever our family goes to the beach, I travel with four women, and we like to go and make a day of it and have a lot of fun. And the two single hardest items to get to the beach are the ice chest with these little wheels that um, really weren't made to roll in sand, and then our 12 by 14 canopy, shade canopy. And this thing weighs uh, 64 pounds by itself. So I wanted to come up with a way to get those uh, to the beach easily enough. And so I designed and built my beach cart yesterday. And so I designed the length uh, to facilitate the, um, the canopy. And then I designed the width around the, um, the ice chest. But then also these uh, power, these wheels, I took off of a kid's electric scooter, like the power wheels. So that's the, um, the actual axle. Didn't even cut it or anything, just used the exact axle there and, uh, and built this thing. So the way it works is uh, you stand it up like this. Oh, another thing is uh, for these particular pieces here, I use slip tees. And the reason I use slip tees is because these are these long pieces of pipe are single pieces of pipe. There's no joint, and I did that for strength because it has to bear a pretty good amount of weight with the weight of the um, of the canopy. So the way it works is you just uh, stand it up like that, set the canopy down inside. Another good benefit of these slip tees is then you can slide this cradle back down to hold the canopy and you can just let it down slide this a little more forward and to um to demonstrate weight i'm going to take my 80 dandy toolbox which i just weighed it weighs 40 pounds throw it in the ice chest so that represents a couple bags of ice two 10 pound bags of ice and a whole heck of a lot of drinks. Throw it there. I'm gonna cinch this down. Right, so I have um, I've strapped the ice chest to the cart. I've added four beach chairs, four boogie boards, and our beach basket with masks and snorkels and buckets and shovels and all that great stuff. And uh, one one design element was I purposely, you know, I made the top go back farther so that the ice chest could be centered over the wheels. And what this does is it, it keeps as much weight of the ice chest off the front of the cart as possible. And to demonstrate how easy this is, I've got my 12 year old, beautiful 12 year old daughter, Ryan Grace, who's gonna show how easy this thing moves. Mind you, we've got 40 pounds in the ice chest, 65 pound canopy, plus a lot of other beach stuff. So she's gonna go ahead and show how it works. So it's easy to move on concrete, but let's try something a little harder like grass. And she can also, easily move it on grass. Another feature <laughs> is when you get to the beach, it's sand, and obviously those wheels are wide, but they're going to have to travel in sand, so I purposely made it, come here Ryan Grace, so you can hold, you can use two people, and you can walk side by side, so you can have that pulling force that you're going to need to pull it through the sand at the beach. So a couple of final things about the design. I went and I put uh, just 550 cord and I laced the sides as well as the bottom. And what this is, it'll allow you to stand up boogie boards or beach chairs sideways if you wanted to so they won't fall through. And then, you know, obviously this thing's pretty big, but you, it doesn't need to be any bigger than it has to when it stores. So what I did was I attached, let me come a little closer, guys. Madison is my lovely camera person today is I attach the wheels and the front um, cradle with hitch pins, easily come off. You can take that apart. So it will store in as little area as possible. You need to put these back so you don't lose them. You have the same down here. And if you're going to um, if you're going to implement something like this, you need to sand this because PVC has very tight interference or tight tolerances, and to make it go in and out easily, you're going to need to sand those down. And I just store that right there. Put the pins back. 
it's still not small, but it's certainly smaller than it was before. I did this whole cart for less than 100 bucks. The PVC, the glue, the linch pins, of course, the wheels. That's usually the most expensive thing in a beach, beach cart. And I was able to recycle those from an old toy I found at an old home site. And um, should be lots of fun and uh, ease for the family.